Hey everyone, so today I'm talking about trust. Trust being broken and this is a heavy subject and it's, you know, I'm starting off quick and then I'm gonna go into the details a little bit. But um, when we're taking care of our kids, we're the parents. We are the ones who make decisions. We are the ones who are trusted to make sure that we are teaching our work kids what is right and what is good and then from there when they are older and they decide to do what they want that's their choice so um i'm sharing about my abortion this is part of my minimalist channel it's part of life um a woman you know given being given her god-given role to have children is natural it's part of the plan of life it's part of um, her clarifying her purpose and her her uh, role in life um, I think for girls this starts pretty young we are already being um, what's the word I don't want to say groomed but we're already being prepared to be uh, ready to look um, for somebody and to want marriage that's usually what is happening whether a girl knows it or not she's actually you know trying to look attractive and get ready to be with the man she is going to marry so when abortion happens there's usually a whole mess of things that are contributing to that abortion and you know, my channel is about a minimalist family, which I will be getting back to more ideas and stuff about raising a family, but obviously that foundation first is having children. And abortion is so anti-family, so anti-having children. And that's a foundation you want first. So when you are pregnant and first of all, um, there's no communication with a boyfriend to talk about things um, in a real calm manner, that's a major issue. And again, for me, I talked about my mother bringing me to the clinic and the doctor's office and just boom, there's an abortion and I didn't even understand what it was. So when we have that mother-daughter relationship that's been broken or you know, a mother just doesn't wanna work at relationship with her daughter down the road, and feels it's too much work and you know she just doesn't want to deal with that that again is another um, sense of rejection so what happens when we have parents teaching their kids the wrong things teaching them it's okay to kill your child or it's okay to um, just not be committed and to have boyfriends um, I had a good foundation as far as with my grandmother just really, you know, dotting on me, really loving me, her first granddaughter, spoiling me, and it's great that I did have that foundation um, of being treated very special in those ways, but at the same time when I got older, you can see just, you know, the parenting and grandparenting of my grandmother. Um, she was really shocked um, to really find out that an abortion had happened in the family. But then again, she kind of just sided with my mother and said, you know, you were too young. And a lot of times all we get when we are having an abortion is no conversation. It's just, oh, you were too young. Um, that's probably pretty much all I had was you were too young, you were too young, and then the whole abortion was swept under the rug and never talked about again. So that's something women definitely want to talk about, and I definitely have a love for my family that I still have, but the truth be told, it's something that does need to be dealt with. It needs to come out, it needs to be talked about. Um, for a woman's personal sake um, so that she can grieve a lot of women can't even grieve an abortion because it's not talked about and instead of grieving there is an anger of being mistreated rather than actually being able to get to the point of going through um, a support 
class where you can actually grieve that you did truly um, have a child killed and that you can truly grieve those dreams of what if, what if this would have happened, what if that would have happened. So abortion, um, just being somebody myself who went through it, is not just an abortion. And this is something that I have a heart for and a passion for to help other girls to really understand what it is. And when we are in a crisis and this is all happening so quick and decisions have to be made so quickly and you can't always, you know, you're in shock and you're in a crisis, it's really hard to talk about things. So we want to be able in society to have the resources and abilities to sit down and talk with girls and be able to talk to them and talk about what abortion truly is. And this is something that you're not getting at Planned Parenthood. You're not getting at some of the doctor's offices. And we want to um, be role models for girls so that they can feel that they, if, if outside the family, that, you know, they have somebody because a lot of times inside the family, they don't. So we wanna be there for girls. We wanna be able to, um, as a society, be able to help girls and men. Um, this is not just a girl decision. My channel is catered toward the girls, um, but men are definitely affected in so many ways and girls are affected by the men. So abortion, again, is not just, um, you know, a quick procedure. There's so much involved and trust being broken, that is a big issue for women when at a deep level of intimacy, not only the man that she may have thought she would marry is broken, but then to have a child killed and then to have no support from a family and to be told to just stuff it, just basically don't worry about it, uh, go on with your life, uh, move forward, don't even, don't think twice about it. Those kind of things really break um, a woman's trust for people and seeing the good in people sometimes and being mistreated in such an intimate way is really destructive to women. And again, helping women heal, helping to build them up, to teach them how valuable they are, that is really going to be um, a big part of the solution to really help girls understand they have um, a lot of good choices. They have the strength and the ability to make things happen in their life and to trust themselves, to trust their gut, trust their instinct that um, they are, are able to reach out for help and that they can um, go against the status quo and they can say no and they can say no I choose to heal from such an awful thing I choose to talk about it and I choose to uh, move on in a time that's good for me and to grieve a child that's good for me so th this is um this is again something we need a lot of people to be able to think and be able to find solutions to help girls avoid abortion at all costs